they also made Observer that, that, uh, like, sci-fi, not sci-fi, uh, I cannot remember the name of this, this genre. It's like Blade Runner. <clears throat> Hmm. I wonder where we are right now. We just climbed down some random well. Oh! That's not good. Yeah, you like both games? Probably because the production company is pretty good. So yeah, if, uh... Probably next time, if you if you really highly do if you really do highly recommend the game, next time we have a break in uh, horror genre games, we'll probably check it out. That is a foreboding sounding sound, but it could be I mean it could be like a month or two probably before we have a break because of all the different games we're having to not having to wanting to and in, going to enjoy over the next coming months. But because of atmosphere. Yeah, that's that's why I like this game actually, because of the atmosphere. It's so well done with the soundtrack and everything. Um, hmm. That sounds terrifying. And I don't want to walk farther into here. Especially since we only have one life. We really should be more careful, but I think we're going to do it anyway. I also don't know where we are. You can't use the map down here either. Which is super awkward. I think I just heard a footstep. Okay, so there's something in here that we're not gonna... Alright, I'm leaving. This is tripping me out. <laughs> We're getting out of here. And I entered the house with a map inside of it. Hmm. What was I saying? Something about how they uploaded the game to Pirate Bay? I thought that's what I was talking about. I think, I think I was talking about when they upgraded, when they up, uploaded to Pirate Bay. Pretty sure that's what it was. Either that or how we really need metal, but... <clears throat> so right now we're supposed to find the dude with the key to the house, and I don't know where he is. Oh, let's, let's put our torch away. We actually could bust this down if we wanted to. That's interesting. I bet the villagers would get pissed at us and we'd have to kill them all. Oh, here's the bread oven. Oh, I'll take some wire. You can give that to uh, whatever his name is as well. Oh, a metal pipe! We definitely want to keep this. These are very valuable. Um, hmm. 
Well, let's replace the meat with it. <laughs> Always forgetting something important. Me too, Max. It's okay. How come none of these people have the one thing we need on them? We need metal. That's what we need. Hey, brick oven user, bake, bake bread. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is another bread oven. Yeah, I think we were talking about Layers of Fear, maybe, where I said I'd, I'd probably check it out uh, whenever we have a free moment in, uh, t in our Terror Tuesday games. But it looked pretty cool. It did. It looked pretty cool. In the same second that I think of it. Nah. Every everyone does that, Max. Everyone think Everyone forgets stuff exactly like that. Mostly because it probably wasn't that important, honestly. Alright, we're gonna do one last lap of this village. You do it every time. <laughs> So the child said the dude with the key was by the well. So that makes me think that the guy with the key actually might be living inside the well now. And that might have been the creature we heard down down at the bottom. So we may have to come back here and go down there tomorrow. A chicken! There's also a creepy chicken lady who lives in here. She is cuckoo. I'm too far. So this guy killed his, like, uh, wife or friend or husband or whatever this dead person in here is. He actually burned her. And it's also where we could have found another, another chain if we needed to fix the, fix the well some other way. So the well must be fairly pivotal. I think the dude that has the key probably does live down there. And there's also probably an enemy that we need to kill. Sometimes it goes to extreme length. And didn't realize you needed painkillers despite the pain. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound like it's uh, <laughs> helpful in any way. I'm sorry to hear that. So this is the this is the room key we need. And inside here is the chicken lady's house. Hey, chicken lady. What do you need, poor soul? Hungry, eh? I'd give you some stew, but what good will it do? Lord Almighty! <laughs> Already showing her everything. Look how creepy she is. She's a creepy lady. There's another toolbox, but that won't have metal in it. Well, it probably does have metal in it, but not metal that we can use. There's some weird sounds coming out of here, and I think the woman, the beautiful woman that lives in here, is like a zombie or something. She's contaminated. When I'm turning completely blind to it, yeah. That's true. But at least you recognize that you're forgetting things, right? Could be worse, I guess. A doll. That is a creepy doll. 
Oh, this is the house. So here's kind of the storyline that we think we have so far. The wolf man is half animal, half human, but he was living here. And the, the people here hate people that are half animal, half human. Um, but he fell in love with some lady and they had a child. And the child we talked to earlier, and when they had the child, the people, the people here got really mad since they hate the wolf man, and they tried to burn him in this, this, uh, this burned down thing we're s sitting in right now. And so he wants to get back at these people, and that's why he had us kill the pig god, and it's also why he wants the key, because I think the wolf, the thing in there is either the daughter that was born, or something similar to that. It's annoying that we can't look at our map here, because we use our map so frequently everywhere else. This door seems to be blocked from the other side. Hmm. Oh, there's like a... beating, moving object in there. You see that? Maybe a hole in the ground? Maybe we can get in here from the well. That's possible. You can't tell? Well, I'm sorry to hear that, then. It sounds like you... I mean, you know now, right? You were like... I've completely forgot to take the painkillers even though my leg was hurting. So you know at least now. Okay, and this is where they were first wor They were first worshipping the... Here's the pig god that we killed. We actually took a shiny stone out of its head. We desecrated their altar. This is a bad idea, but we're gonna go in here anyway. Oh, there's a person working in the field here. Hey, buddy. Who are you? Get away from me. Is he gonna attack me? Often when they say that, they attack me. No? Okay. Looks like he's, he's a little bit more relaxed than everyone else. I sat on the sofa for literally less than a minute, and it was 6 p.m. Yeah, that would, that would do, that would, <laughs> that makes sense. That's about two hours. That is pretty extreme. That would be kind of frightening. Alright, I think we're going to go, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to our place, we're going to board off the walls, survive one more night, then we're going to go to, P um, I think his name's P P Petriarch or something like that? Petriarch's place. We're going to give him the last part to his spaceship, then we're going to come back here and we're going to explore the well. That is the plan. It's a big, a dead cow. So let's do that. <clears throat> okay. Grab some gas real quick. Um, put our nails up. Let's go ahead and cook these these mushrooms. Uh, 
Uh, let's drop our wire right there. Old bottles. Or empty bottles. We can use these to make um, these. Actually, I think we're going to go ahead and make one of these. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, let's make two. They're really useful against enemies. We're going to put our boards up here. We're going to make more boards because we've been boarding these doors off at night. Uh, so that people can't get in. It's a big waste of... It's a big drain on resources, but we died twice because they just break in now. Because in the second area that we're currently in, uh, the enemies are a lot more robust and they actually... actually will kill you. The savages will, at least. And so, this is a precaution we've, we've been having to take. <clears throat> um, yep, let's, let's grab 50 nails. This way we can reboard it during the night, during the night if we need to. Oh, we can re rebuild this bathtub if we wanted to. Let's get some furniture real quick. Oh, nope. Damn it. Yep. Drink from the well to restore our health. Let's add some spice to life since you might go to Subway and end up in an absolutely different part of the city from one than you intended to head to. That is true. I do that and I don't and I don't forget things habitually. Okay, so we have a good amount of fuel. Let's go ahead and throw the rest of this one into this generator. So I imagine it's even worse when you do when you are forgetful. Alright. Drag this. I'll take some bread, why not? We can you we found out that you can kind of use furniture as like a blockade. Um they're less likely to go in doors that are blocked off the furniture. Because they can't actually push them. They have to physically destroy the door. I mean, they have to destroy the piece of furniture. The only way they can push things is if it's on the inside and they push through the door to get, to the, to get into a room. We also encountered a new enemy. Those insects, apparently, if you don't kill them, they set eggs and they create this poisonous ground stuff on the on the bottom, like on the floor, and they will kill you. That's delightful. All right, let's go turn the generator on. It's getting pretty late. We also got a second perk that allows us to run infinitely without um, losing stamina. Which is very useful. Set a nice, tasty bear trap underneath the door. And let's barricade you.
Alright. We're gonna put a chair in front of it as well, just in case. One thing that is interesting is that the savages, they tend not to go through the barricaded windows. They only, generally speaking, so far in our experience, go through the barricaded doors, but they will, they will destroy a door to get in here. And that's, the last two times we died, actually, they destroyed, the, like, one of these two doors, and, like, three of them ran in at once, and we had nowhere to run, and so they just killed us, so. We have had to start barricading a lot more and setting our traps up a lot more and that sort of thing. Go ahead and repair our board. Can't repair the pistol, actually, which really sucks, because it costs, like, almost a thousand reputation to buy the parts to get it. We had to use it to get through that boss area earlier. We also can make a sickle now, which we will be doing. But once we upgrade our, our shop, which we, we have the components to upgrade our shop, shop we just don't have the um, metal. We're going to be trying to get that tomorrow. Alright, here, here they come. Looks like we don't have any pills, so we're gonna have a bandage right here in case we need to use it. Alright, here they come. Alright, so there's a savage right here. I think it just got caught in our bear trap. We're gonna get a Molotov cocktail out and throw it at this guy as soon as he enters. If he ever enters. I think one just got, uh, one just got stuck in a trap right here as well. It's kind of interesting, you can't repair a barricaded door until it's been completely destroyed. Alright. He should be almost through, and so as soon as he gets through, he'll push this table away or either either that or he'll beat the table into pieces and then he'll come in and we'll throw this at him all right here it comes so there's two coming in right now which is very unfortunate no wait uh All right, here comes another one. Alright, here come the little things in the night. We're not gonna re-barricade this one because... Oh, shit. We're gonna need a way out in the morning, and it looks like the savages have given up. That was actually really close to us dying because when we threw that uh, 
grenade, that Molotov cocktail, it caught us on fire as well. And if we hadn't popped that bandage immediately, we would have, it would, we would have burned to death, which sucks. <laughs> Day 13. Oh, we gained 150 reputation. That must have been a particularly hard night.